Hey guys, welcome back. Here we go, part two of the paint job. Lots of fun, always lots of fun. So, a little bit of a hiccup here, just prepping out the front windshield wiper tray, whatever you want to call it, ice cube tray deal. Sandblasting happened for that, just cleaned it up. Primer, just, it was a miss on my behalf, so I had to get that prepped and ready. So it took a, you know, two days to get that all ready and done, but it's done. Primer went on it, block it all out. You know the drill. Got that all ready and, uh, you know, shot down some primer. So here's a quick shot just of the final little touch-ups and tweaks on that front fender eyebrows on this car. You know, we had a little bit of a operation going on in the past videos, you would have seen that. Uh, so just tuning it in, really finely honing it in. I like to put tape down on the peaks so you can really see where you're at and then go up to it, and repeat both sides. You know, finish my dressing it in 600 grit after that and give her a good wash down. So blowing off the car, cleaning it all up. We're all ready to go here. Got the car out of the booth, sprayed everything down, really gave it a good clean with all the dust, right? And then finally put some water down. Yep, went all right. So sealer went on this. So the sealer that uh, my paint rep recommended for me was the light, light gray for this. So that's what you're seeing here going down. You know, I just, I walked the top edge where the actual flat surface is on this and then just blending it all in and just putting it on. It goes on just like base coat, real easy to do. Just take your time. Don't hit the hose into the car, right? <laughs> so yeah, after this one there, then ended up going through all my wheel wells. As you've seen before, all the rocker panels have been done on this. All my door jams done, everything's masked, back masked, ready to go here. So I just hit my wind wheel wells and hit the insides of the hood and we're ready to get going here. So base coat mixed up one to one through the gun. I believe I was doing about 28, 29 PSI on this thing, a one three tip and just let her go. So a little drop coat to start, very temperamental color here, by the way. Uh, then followed up by two coats of the green on top of it. And then of course, in the end is the orientation coat. So I really like to stand back another four inches with the gun and just, just let her go and just make sure everything's going on nice and smooth. Just a good looking over spray around it and just get it on there. It orientates the flakes to sit all up and it just, it makes all the difference when you're looking at it. No tiger striping, no funny business going on here. This base coat went on beautiful. So after that flashed off, I was using slow reducer, by the way. After that flashed off, you know, I still had the booth maintained here at about 75, 78 degrees Fahrenheit on it, which is right in the honey spot for what we're doing. And yeah, put the clear coat on it. This clear coat, I again, went with a slow catalyst for it so everything really leveled out nice on this fortunately i couldn't get more uh footage of the clear it was just in the moment of things and uh as much as i want to be here filming showing every little bit of what's going on i i gotta just put the job first right so i i just went at her and laid the clear on that was uh two generous coats there and slow slow catalyst it turned out really good so yeah but why don't we take a look here at what i'm looking at and we shall go do a little walk through here i got the masking paper taken off of it i got uh got the windows just a little light wash nothing fancy right But I'm happy. This has been gassing off now for about two days, the clear coat. And uh, I, I'm happy. I'd say that I'm pretty happy with it. It really started to lay down there after like the first 45 minutes, it really laid down. 
and then now, of course, we are laid right down. Still going to do a real light cut and polish on this car. By light, I mean that we're only going to be doing 1500 grit, 2000 grit, and then bump it up to the 3000 grit after that. And then just cut and polish afterwards. You know, uh, like I said, a lot of prep work went into this to get it nice. So it actually paid off for me. So as much as it's, you know, you end up feeling this thing's gotten three weeks of my life, right? But still, it's fun in the end, you know? I never named this car, so never really cursed her either though, so didn't really have to. But here's, uh, here's an eyebrow deal here, right? Take a good look at that. So that body line was what we were looking at the beginning here with the tape and it's just, I'd say it's good. I like it. So I would say very light peel here. It's still shrinking back a lot. You know, if I, if I could have, I would have already been into this with cut and buffing and the whole nine yards, but you know, it's just, it's not ready. It needs to really, really sit. So I'm going to be returning this car about two weeks from now, hopefully, or just under, I will get it back, bring it in here and do my cut and polish. Yeah, just there she is. I'm happy with the color though. No tiger stripes and the body lines of this car are right there where they're supposed to be. Nothing got muffled over with the priming and all that, so. Yeah, so definitely try and get one of this when we are done and it goes outside. Right on. Cool. So thanks for coming along on this one. You know, lots of fun as always. Uh, can't wait to be doing more clear coat and more candies going on to my own cars though. They're going to be a little different than just the repaint on this. Thanks again.